Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the coefficient of correlation. What is this coefficient of correlation? Well basically it allows you to determine if there is a linear trend between your two variables. Whether they're both proportionally increasing as one goes up, the other one goes up, or the other one goes down and the first one goes down. Uh, or are they inversely proportionally connected so as one goes up the other one goes down so the difference in the symbols for the population it's rho the Greek letter and for the sample it's R formulas are as follows you find the covariance and divide by the individual standard deviations oops these need to be sigmas if I'm doing the population just erase that denominator because we're talking about the population, I have to use sigma. If I'm looking for R, it's the covariance of the, of the sample. I think this might be my last video, I'm getting tired. Alright, so, the steps. Find covariance, whether it's sigma xy or sxy, to find the individual variances, so either sx squared or sy squared, sounds like my neighbors work on this car. Um, Three square root the uh, two variances to get the oops that should be x. Right. Again, these could be sigmas interchangeable depending on population or sample. And then step four is to plug and chug. Alright, so your range of values for um, coefficient of correlation are between negative 1 and 1. The closer it is to uh, positive 1 here, the more strongly they're related. So as one goes up, the other one is going to go up pretty much in the same magnitude. And then um, as we get closer to this side down here, uh, that means as one go up, goes up, the other one goes down. For instance, uh, the m negative one example would be something like uh, the hours of TV. As that goes up, what happens to your uh, grade on your exam? As this goes up, this goes down, right? Or if this goes down, up, unless you're watching educational programming, I guess. But uh, if it was r equals 1, we would have an example of the more you study, the higher your grade, hopefully. Alright, so that'll basically be it. So again, Make sure you know your two formulas, whether we're talking about the population or the sample. Uh, here are your steps. You find your covariance, find the variance, turn them into standard deviations, plug into the formula. I hope this has clarified what the coefficient of correlation is. Make sure you check out the example video to further clarify any doubts you might have. Thank you and have a nice day.